All right, so we're here at the junkyard. We're gonna go ahead and start getting an airbag. I did get in a 97, and it's got a different plug from the 95. So I'm not gonna bother trying to cut and splice the wires. I just wanna get the right one. So before we even get into it, we're going to pop this panel off. Make sure it's got what we need. And it doesn't look like it. Actually... Yeah, that's different. All right, so I found a 95 going on the passenger side here. Oh. Verify this is what we need. So for anybody watching, my video is still relevant for all the years of his body style, but your, uh, your plug's gonna be different. And that's the plug we need for the 95. I'm not sure about the 94. I'd say it's probably the same. So you've already seen me take one of these out. I'm gonna go ahead and rip it out. And then uh, I'll catch back up with you. So there would have been two bolts there. I already got them out. All right. And then it's gonna be some along the front that hold on to the bracket. Hold those relays. And then also the fans in there. I'm not going to take these fans, but I'm going to keep the bolts from them. Actually, I do need this fan. I need the one with the plastic shroud, I forgot. I am kind of up in the air about even taking this radiator. It looks like something was seeping from this at some point, which makes me think somebody put stop leak in it. See all that? Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay, we'll focus there. So that's all over it. But I looked in the overflow reservoir, the radiator itself, everything looks fine, so I'm not sure what that is. And even down in there looks fine. So we'll just tuck that up out of the way. Go into the fan. Got big meaty arms like I do. Might have a hard time getting this unplugged. This way. Yeah, that's better. There's a button. You press in, you'll see it. I don't know what that's about. Why is it giving me such a hard time?
if we can get this out a little bit. pretty corroded in there we're gonna have to clean that up but um that looks like a good fan i'm gonna throw two of these bolts back in we'll make sure we keep those Same thing over here. Same thing again, it doesn't want to come unplugged. I don't know. There it is. I don't know why. This car is giving me such problems. Normally, just wiggle those and they come out, but this one's a little tight. It's gonna be a 10 mil. I'm not gonna be able to show you what I'm doing here, but I can show you after I get it out. Wow. Got a lot of corrosion on it. It's going to give us a hard time. Oh. Might help if we're loosening it, not tightening it. I think. Hold on. No, I was loosening it. So, we're going to go ahead and get these out. So it's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and get out this bolt holding the trans line on. You can see my wrench, and then there's another one over here for the lower fan shroud. I'm gonna get those out, and I'll get right back with you. Okay. So I've got that loose now. I'll just grab that. Just grab it. Yep, so it's gonna pull right out. Set that up there. Alright. Now what you've got left are trans lines. And these look pretty corroded, so I think we're gonna have a fun time getting them out. And then I'm gonna have to go back under there and disconnect that. So it's all pretty straightforward catch up with you once I have it out. All right, I'll catch you. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled all the way out. We're gonna get the other parts we need and uh, catch up with you, thanks. Huh. I got that on video. Okay. I tripped over that fucking thing. I tripped over that. All right, so it's day three on the 95 Honda Accord build. Gotta get this bumper out of the trunk. Okay. So basically, we're coming around here. What I had to do, and I'll show you. There's the driver's side airbag. Here's the passenger. So, I could only find this in a 97, I think? And it had the wrong plug on it. So I peeled this back, cut it, um, spliced it, reheat shrinked it, and then pulled this over and then kind of put some more heat to that shrink. 
heat to that heat shrink pit side. There's this one. So I'm going to probably go ahead and get that put back in. Make sure that cutting and splicing this one cause it to blow up. I don't know. All right, I'll see you in a minute. So slight problem, all that plastic from yesterday that was broken, turns out that that's part of what mounts this airbag. So. I don't remember this being as hard. Probably because it wasn't so cold. Yep. So being that all this plastic and everything came out of the dashboard that held a couple of these bolts. I'm not going to bother putting them back on. So there's only going to be three holding it in. It'll be the three that are mounted directly to the dash support. Support. I'm only going to put in the three that are mounted directly to the dash support. Dash support. 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 Dash support. Sup. Whatever. The three on the dash support. Support, 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 dash, support. I don't know. Alright. Now I'm going to plug them in. And we're going to find out if splicing the wires was a big mistake. Apparently not. Nothing went boom. We'll put the key in the ignition just. Um, Aha! All right. So we're done in here.
like I said, everything goes together the way it came apart. Now with this one, don't plug this in yet. There's a hole in the bottom of the steering wheel. Steering wheel's upside down right now. Just slide that in. And then find your T30 bit. That might have been important. Now the reason I'm saying don't plug that in yet, is because for whatever reason, I mean, we can say all day long what an airbag will and will not do, and even though I'm completely aware there's no reason that airbag should go off again, I'm making sure it's bolted in before I plug it in. That way it doesn't become a projectile flying towards my face. I don't know if there's a torque spec on this. Um, but that's a good question. Yeah. Plastic pieces on. We're just unlocking the steering wheel so we can get everything this side. I'm just going to double check that that torque bit is tight again. By the way, if I failed to mention, it is the next day since you saw me at the junkyard. Until the weather's kind of taking a turn. And by that I mean the weather sucks right now. Dusty. I'm just gonna get the dust off of it. I'll pop that cover back on. By the way, out of the four airbags I looked at in the junkyard, I broke three of these covers. So I'm gonna make a wild guess that those covers are a pain. All right, I'm gonna plug it in. All right, nothing went boom. And also, not in this video, I don't even know if it'll make it into a video, I'm going to be replacing the seatbelt. Just because it's frayed up. And if we're going through the trouble of putting new airbags in it and making sure this car is safe again, for a young girl, you know, I want to make sure it's got a good seatbelt in it. <laughs> 